This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hey guys, it's the Indie Mayhem Show back in the new year. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And we're ready to talk with uh, several new, new, yeah, there'll be some new faces on the show this year uh, in independent professional wrestling, Pittsburgh professional wrestling, and some people coming back, some new faces, some people maybe you've seen on your TV. Uh, we got a lot of stuff in the works already. I, I, I am in talks with, this is one of at least five interviews already in the works for the new season for 2019, and we're starting it off big this year. <laughs> We'll wow. introduce him in a moment, but for, in the meantime, please go check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, where you can see all the Indie Mayhem shows, as well as the Wrestling Mayhem Show and the Raw Wrap-Up and whatever other new podcasts come up in 2019. Um, also, you can uh, check out IndieWrestling.us, where a lot of our guests, including today's guests, you can find on there on VOD, digital download, or as part of the Indie Wrestling Network at www.IndieWrestling.network. As well, um, a lot of the indie wrestling scene represented on there. You can drop us a line at goodtimes at wrestlingmayhemshow.com or 412-206-WMS0, where uh, you can uh, let us know if there's any questions for anybody that we do have announced on our Facebook page uh, for interviews, or if you have anybody you think we should be talking to on this show, we definitely take recommendations or if any topics we're looking to maybe bring back some of those round tables like we did uh recently with the intergender wrestling round table with uh honey badger jinx marcus man and more um and uh and then trying to mix it up a little bit this year in 2019 so my guest this week we just had a rousing um round of injustice too because we were trash talking on the Facebook and we had to resolve that. Zeke Mercer is with us here in the studio. How I, you I doing, Zeke? I lost most of the matches. You, for the you won at least two, two, two of I'm the not, of the double digit matches that we had. I lost track after the second <laughs> one. Actually, I just, I just got to keep losing. I, I'm glad. I, I, I was really worried because I'm like, this guy, he's gonna kick my ass. I'm gonna be embarrassed. Uh, like I don't play games. I just talk trash. Yeah, and you initiated it. I know. I you like, started it because you like games. I was like, well, I'm also playing with something. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways, well, first first thing, other than people getting to know you, if they, you know, we do some uh, video game streams here with Brohemoth and Riz plays games, and a lot of the wrestlers come in, and, and you've been a part of that here in a recent. Uh, yeah. weeks uh, on our live streams over at Sorgatron Media and Wrestling. That was that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. I lost a lot too. I'm just not good at gaming. That's, well, that's yeah, not we, my career. Goal. I'm not great at gaming either, but I just like playing it. So I mean, that's why I don't really show off much of it. <laughs> There's not really much to see over here, right? Yeah, I, I just I didn't know how I used the gas pedal in that game. Was, I never played on a Switch. I just oh, that's right. You're playing the uh, Mario Kart, right? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I was like, what is this? Yeah, why, <laughs> why is this controller so tiny? Yeah. And yeah, you no, know, last time I played Mario Kart was actually on a DS. Yeah, so that's the last time I played Mario Kart. Was on a DS. DS, not a 3DS, not a 2DS, a DS. DSi. DSi. Yeah, the cool camera. The cool camera at the time. The cool camera. The advanced camera. On a, <laughs> that's the last time. I, Those were the days. Yeah. When they actually <laughs> when they no finally Hannah. put Wi-Fi in it, right? Oh, well, other than that, uh, let's break the ice <laughs> with you a little bit. Uh, what is your earliest memory of pro wrestling? I'll be honest with you, video games. Video games? Yeah, that's actually like how I got into wrestling. Like, okay. Okay. Like, it's a I, I'm really curious about this. Okay. Now. So the story... It fits with everything else. Yeah. Okay. Well, the first video game I played was like SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. Because mm -hmm. I never played uh, wrestling games or any type of game. I was Need for Speed as a kid. And uh, I didn't grow up watching wrestling. That's mm -hmm. the, I think that's the big difference for me. Like I didn't grow up watching like, oh yeah, I remember Shawn Michaels. Like, nah, dude, my first memory was like the opening sequence to uh, Smack Never Raw. <laughs> and like, oh no, I see RVD and Booker T and um, like Sabu in the video game cover. Oh, Sabu. But it was like Sabu in the game. Yeah. But I just played that game over and over and over again. Eventually I started watching it because I found it on TV. So I started watching So Raw how did you get thing. introduced to the game? Because why did you... Well, because... um. Well, one summer I was uh, with my stepbrother and his brother. So they were playing games like all day. And they said like, well, I'm going to pop in WB. I was like, what's WB? I was like, well, you'll see. So I'm just sitting there watching them play this stupid ladder match. And I'm just like, this is the most interesting thing I've ever seen. 
I don't have any other recollection of watching wrestling but like before that. So if I did, it had to be like this on TV. But that was it, my first. And I just want to. I just want to the ground the soul. But you say it's the the 2008 edition. That was the edition that did have uh, Undertaker, John Cena, and, and Bobby, Bobby Lashley, Lashley on it. And it was the one that said featuring ECW because yes. this is around the ECW kind of. And that's how like the second year of GM mode, I think second or third year GM mode. So I, I do love like looking at the cover. How much how things have changed oh, yet God, completely dude. stayed the same. <laughs> I mean, in y- ten years. Yeah. Because all people are back at the WWE. They're all there. <laughs> They're all there. And Bobby was on the freaking cover. Yeah. Uh, but Yeah, <laughs> think about it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> wow. That's pretty... Well, my childhood isn't dead yet, I guess. What's that? <laughs> so my childhood isn't dead yet. No, no. No, no. It'll live on, on uh, for nine ninety nine a month. Uh, but anyways, yes. so, so, so basically, you've kind of... When somebody says, I want to be a superhero or a vi- live a video game, you, this is kind of the right. thread that you took. Yeah, I kind of like, you know what? Wrestling looks cool. <laughs> I was like, why not? So what, 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 when you started looking for it on TV, like what did you come across? What did you start watching? What started getting your attention in um, real life? I'm using quotations. Real wrestling. Life. Live action wrestling. Live action wrestling. Is that better? Yes. Okay, well, yes. some people, I'm going to get hate for this but like it was don't worry re- about it. we've got a lot of weird answers okay it was the like the first thing i found was tuesday nights revamped ecw okay that was like the first thing i watched and okay I don't, I don't remember the matches at all but i remember watching like, ecw come on and you know don't question my heart i remember that song so vividly don't question you remember that as the old ecw like that was, then revamped the, the, this, yeah this was kind of like further along when it was kind of like when they were trying to get the, a lot of the young guys yeah in there, right I like just like, like like okay. the CM Punk, Punk days and stuff. And Hardy was, I think Hardy was the champion of ECW back then. I don't remember that. I was really paying attention. Like he had it for a bit, Christian, Mark Henry. Yeah. And that's when I got into and it. And Bobby Lashley. Lashley. <laughs> and Bo- and he, I think he was the last ECW champion, right? Um, in WWE's canon, right? I think he is. Why do I, why do I want to think it's Rhino? No, Rhino was the original ECW Me. former champion. You got you got to tell me that because I'm only 19. I want to go back so far. <laughs> okay, Rhino now dresses as Santa Claus apparently. Yes, so I, we'll I, bring- I, know who Ryan, I know who Ryan is, but I can't remember the whole history of ECW. My bad. That's fine. That's fine. Is there's a big history there? Well, there's a we'll start sending old ECW matches after your ring of I mean, yeah, binge. <laughs> Do it. I'll watch almost anything. Almost anything. <laughs> so you're watching wrestling. You get into ECW, WWE, ECW. Um, yeah. it's the greatest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> at sure. least it is for somebody and i moved from ec the revamped ecw to friday night smackdown because it was on friday yeah. at the time yeah and then that's how i found the raw so i went up the chain and go like so, down the chain. <laughs> so i went from like i guess the c minus show to a a plus i guess i don't know how mr man grades it but like the a ship show and it yeah. sounds like it was the rvds and the sabus that got your attention initially yeah christian too i, I remember christian's like the first rest i kind of liked mm-hmm because he's like, I don't know, I guess he was getting pushed at the time. Mm-hmm. But I was like, okay, I like Christian. He's cool. Matt Hardy? Er, okay, okay. CM Punk? I'm like, who's this guy? And again, not, knowing, <laughs> not, not going in the history of a Matt Hardy or Christian at the time, I bet. Uh, I don't think so. No. I don't no. know much of him like, at the time, though. I mean, like, I come to love him as I got older. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, yeah, I know who these people are. But that, as a eight to nine year old, no, I didn't know who anyone that was. So, yeah. I watched that for years. <laughs> um, so going from that, when, where, did, at what point did you were, were you playing the wrestling, watching wrestling, um, and led to the uh, you know wanting to actually get in the ring? When did you think that you wanted to actually get in there and do that? Well, okay, so I used to like do like backyard stuff with my friends like all the time. Cause we were just like literally high school kids. Yeah, it was fun, whatever. Um, but we really like watched indie stuff. Like, we can't do everything WWE, but, like, we watch a lot of, the, like, indie stuff. So, New mm-hmm. Japan or PWG. And, you know, just a bunch of kids messing around trampoline. So, after a while, um, I was like, you know what? I could do this. I was literally in the – I used to do amateur wrestling for my high school. Right? Okay. And I was in the Hershey's um, Center, like, the way they hold the big uh, state finals for Ripples. Yeah. And I looked – I was sitting down looking at the whole place. I was like – I would love to do this for a living. Like I like Is that the same building where like when they come to Hershey they do the mm-hmm. WWE shows? So right next to Hershey Park. So you've wrestled in <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Like as like in like another set of tights with like singlets or singlets, whatever. Yeah, you yeah, call. yeah. And 
um, I was sitting there just looking. It's like, you know what? I want to do that. Like, like it's kind of stupid. I want to do it, but I want to give it a shot. I mean, I'm only like at the time I was 17. Mm-hmm. I mean, I got some time. You mean I can mm-hmm. come with a plan and I can do it. So, um, junior year was my last year doing a uh, amateur wrestling. After that season, I was like, I want to focus on that. The summer, I worked at McDonald's, flipping them patties, <laughs> making my money, and uh, pretty much saving up for gear and training and then the day before i started training like my tryout i went to another show i forgot um it was like big time wrestling i think in the washington wild thing center Mm -hmm. or stadium and like legit the day after i went for my tryout and i was like okay i don't suck completely (laughs) like i'm still in rest like old wrestling shape and then that's literally how i started so and then the day after that i started high school as as a senior Wow. So, yeah. So that, that was my weekend going to my senior year <laughs> of high school. So, so yeah. tell me about training. How did you discover um, where to train at and uh, where did you end up going? Okay. So I went, I started at Fight Society as I wrestled them now. Mm-hmm. Um, literally, I did like a lot of research, well, research into it. And this is, I, this is Fight Society in uh, McKeesport, Port, yeah, Pennsylvania. Yeah, McKeesport, yeah. Around the Pittsburgh area for those that don't know. Yeah. Uh, forward PWX. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, I was just doing research before I spent my money or anything, like anything expensive. I'll always do research from my, my phone to a laptop or to school books. I just do research. I can find what can actually afford versus just let me put down $3,000 and hope I become a wrestler. Let me mm-hmm. actually, you know, see if I can do it. Um, but yeah, it was like at the time, uh, IWC, you know, I say wrestling, um, and PWX at the time, it didn't change fights. Like it was PWX at the time. I forgot what other, wrestling promotion there was but iron city and peter vex is my two competitors not, mm-hmm. not competitors but like options and probably the only ones that are running major schools at the time yeah too. it was like yeah. a, a, i don't know if it was like one place but it was definitely closer mm-hmm. to where i was and i was just like okay so i started messaging the people who run training like as i'm working and like trying to save up money and um I, yeah jim well, I talked to Jim way more. I correspond with Jim way more often. Than uh, Jim Miller with PWR. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, way more often than I did with the, the um, IWC. Mm-hmm. I, forgot who, I don't know who it was. I can't remember. But we worked out something. I picked a day to try out, and boom. You know, my dad was like, you want to be a wrestler? I was like, yeah, you got money? Yeah. I was like, okay, let's go. And like, <laughs> like, like, it's not my money. So I mean, it's all you, man. <laughs> so going from, again, you had the amateur wrestling background there. Yeah. Like, how much do you think that kind of assisted you and kind of moving forward into the uh, professional wrestling uh, angle? Uh, pretty much stamina. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, shot, I have also other martial arts, like jiu-jitsu, taekwondo, okay. in my background. But wrestling is like, that was my martial art. Like, my dad mm-hmm. had his, wrestling was mine. So, uh, oh, hey, whoever came in. <laughs> don't worry about that we'll fix it in post <laughs> but uh, no like uh, so wrestling like amateur wrestling gave me like the stamina in my like the pretty much the athletic ability to like actually do this stuff because mm-hmm. before I wrestled I was a legit twig like, I'm a twig now mm-hmm. I, I was more of a twig back then <laughs> so I, I was like okay and then like when I went in did a tryout I thought I was gonna be like dead or something but I was like oh no I'm fine I'm, I'm completely fine <laughs> and you know yeah, because a lot of you know, especially with 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 amateur wrestling, like uh, myself, I did some in elementary, so I'm familiar with the training regimen a little bit. But like, uh, th- that's a lot of. Oh, uh, I'm from Cannon Mac. Where our biggest, yeah, everyone's like, you, I, when I tell them I'm from Cannon Mac, I'm yeah, a wrestler, they're like, oh, that's one of the big schools. Yeah, you're, yeah, gonna, get like, good, oh. you're gonna get a good upbringing through that one. Yeah, <laughs> so great program. Um, that's awesome. So, uh, did anything surprise you when you got into the pro wrestling side of things? Um. I thought the bumps were like my first time. I was like, when I took a first spot, I was like death. I thought it was gonna be like instant death. But I was like, oh, yeah. I'm not that hurt. I mean, it hurts. Don't mm-hmm. get me wrong, it hurts. <laughs> it's like I wasn't like, oh, this is not crippling. <laughs> I could do that again. I could do that. I could do that again. And Quinn was like, all right, give me like twenty more. I was like, twenty more. I'm like, <laughs> and yeah. So I was like, I have to get used to like getting like bumps and stuff, and actually how to work. You know, like, mm-hmm. put holes on people. Because, like, you may think, like, this is, like, some people may think, like, oh, that's stupid. Like, wrestling's stupid. But, like, it's kind of hard to, like, put a submission on it and make it look realistic, mm-hmm. but not killing anybody. Mm-hmm. 
Especially so know how to put the hose on for real. <laughs> so that's my one thing I struggled with was not to actually hurt people. Yeah, I think that was my struggle. And to listen. I listened, but it was like I didn't understand what you're trying to say to me mm-hmm. versus just like just doing it. Okay. It was weird. It was like I had to reform a whole brain structure of how I'm supposed to do, get out of a wrestling mindset, fix my stances and all that footwork. It was just it was a whole like one eighty for me, basically. Mm-hmm. Kind of like transitioning from a kind of a competitive environment to more of a I mean, presentation, it's still, right? It's it's still competitive, right? But right, right, it's, right, right. It's more showmanship. I'm not a showman, like I don't think I am. Like <laughs> legit, like I I'm not. Like I remember like one time saw me like trash talk. Like I don't trash talk. Like I grew up like amateur wrestling humbled me the crap out of me because like any point like anyone could put you down. So yeah. like you don't talk match. You yeah. have to go on, on the mat. And like shake the guy's hand, wrestle, win or lose, and walk off. Because mm-hmm. if you talk, me- like you know, talk trash, your team can lose points. You can lose points, get disqualified. Yeah. So it was like very frowned upon. So that's my dis. I don't talk trash much at all. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, Bro, Hemoth is mentioning how how soft spoken you are. I am very <laughs> soft spoken. I don't yell at anybody. I try not to. <laughs> because I'm not, I'm I'm only like five 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 six. Someday, <laughs> some, someday there's gonna be an amazing heel turn from you. <laughs> yes, and I was like, I don't know that. Kid and they're gonna anymore. be like, where did this come from? But uh, ten years of pent up aggression. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, how when, when did you debut? In May 2018. May I don't remember it, the exact date. Cause yeah. I I know I did it before I graduated, like a month, like three weeks after I graduated high mm-hmm. school. So I was like around that time. Like I pretty sure got checked my phone for that. <laughs> like I pretty sure it was my phone. So I'm like, oh yeah, this is the time you debuted against Taylor Randall. I was like, oh that's cool. Wow, I look really ugly back then. But I'm always like ugly, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I, I know I've caught you at a uh, uh, Black Diamond and uh, probably yeah, in Fight Society. I can't remember which which came first. Probably Black Diamond. I think about it. Yo, yeah, because I I introduced myself to you because so I was like, oh, I like your show. Hey, so it's my first time meeting you. I shook your hand. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, uh, like I didn't know who you were at first because it was just like. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, Sword. How you doing? And I, like, yeah, and I think maybe like the next show I actually saw you wrestle. So. Yeah, at the Fight Site show, right? Because mm-hmm. I faced AJ. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> like, <laughs> Something like that. It's, it's been a while. <laughs> wild 2018. <laughs> We're getting some comments from the uh, chat room. Tatiana Rose is in there. Uh, someday the short jokes will be too much. Dang it. It'll turn it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Uh, too much to handle. <laughs> uh, I don't trash talk. You be a terrible heel from Ronnie Stark's violation. <laughs> oh, I got a violation? I got to start paying that off after a while, you know, right? Like, like, I know, right? Like, like, he's going to come at me like in 10 years. Like, yeah, you got this uh, violation fine. Like, no, I'm, I'm a broke college kid. Don't what you really expect from me. I gave my mail card. How about that? Like a <laughs> like a swipe or two. <laughs> so far, I say between uh, what we've seen you in uh, BDW and Fight Society, um, it seems like you've had some pretty interesting matches with a lot of veterans in there, including a couple uh, shows ago, you actually had a match with the uh, champion uh, Patrick Hayes to open uh, in November yeah. at Fight Society. Well, that was nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really expect it at all. Like, it all kind of sprung on me after a while, but like, it was fun. Uh, my chest still has some marks on it. This seems to be the running thread. It is the running thread. Like, <laughs> I, 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 to the, like, I think you're the second coming of John McChesney because I remember his like first year just getting mutilated with chops by like low keys and stuff. You're lucky low keys not around. <sighs> you're right. I mean, he's around, but he's not. <laughs> no, he's wearing a suit in Impact. I don't count that as violently around. I love low key. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's amazing. But uh, no, like. Yeah, I remember the first time I got chopped like a fish, like in the show. It was in Battle Royale. After my debut, like in the same night, mm-hmm. after I faced Tanner, Battle Royale, uh, Crusher, and Dean chopped me. Dean Radford. Yes. And Crusher I remember Hansen. that so vividly. Cause I, I remember Dean did it, and then like I had instant 10 nights in my left ear, mm-hmm. like it's just ringing. <laughs> like, <Ooh. laughs> I've, never been that, I've never been chopped that hard before. I'm not trying to say like anyone else's chops are not hard. That's not what I'm saying at all. Mm-hmm. But. He's the only person who made my ears ring. And, mm-hmm. like, he didn't even touch my head at all. So, yeah. <laughs> um, after that, uh, I'm going to get used to chops. And I uh, had this, I have PTSD about chops now. I can't watch a wrestling match while someone getting chopped and go, <sighs> and, like, <laughs> look away. There are calls in the chat room for uh, inviting a, a low key to Fight Society now. Let's not. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's I mean, like, I would love to wrestle him, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. I think the first chop would be like towards the finish. <laughs> like, mm, like, nah, it starts that. I think it's gonna start. He's gonna that start way, off with yeah. a chop and just kill me. Like, yeah. 
Yeah. And hopefully he's still wearing the suit too. I think my dad will love that because he loves Agent Forty Seven. He loves him, man. <laughs> like my, so my dad would be like, "Yes, kill, look, destroy my son." Just, he does look like Agent Forty Seven. That's the whole thing. Y'all po- I thought like <laughs> he looks so cool. Oh man! Uh, I showed my dad that he was like, "That's badass." <laughs> he like, have the shoes and everything, like actual like dress shoes. I'm like, "That's pretty badass." Like, I can't wear Heelys while fall on my ass, but you know. <laughs> Let's talk about what are you uh what's what are you drawing inspiration from today? And it sounds like it's Ring of Honor. I love Ring of Honor. <laughs> you had a I think I have comment. an addiction towards Ring of Honor because I got Fight TV. Mm-hmm. Like not like a subscription, but like they let you view the episodes for free. Yeah, yeah. And I've just been like watching it. I've been religiously watching it. it like I think about like four months into training, I've just been watching like Ring of Honor on Fight. Mm-hmm. And recently, since I literally catched up because I because of school, um, I've been watching old Ring of Honor on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So like I think Ring of Honor is just my call. Like I like that MLW. I like Defy wrestling. I like, but that's like more on the West Coast. Yeah, I don't know. I just I just like it. And people are like, well, you that's new stuff. Don't it's not working. It's blah blah. blah. It's too flippy. It's like, well, it catches my attention. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not doing anything. I'm watching this. You know. So I mean, like it's cool. I mean, Ring of Honor's team is more grounded than anything else compared to everything everything else that's out there. But uh. Yeah, I just like watching Ring of Honor. I think it's interesting. It sounds like you've been from what we were talking about a little bit before. It sounds like you're kind of more into that, that more competitive, yeah, like side that they they show, especially in those early years. Yeah, it's just I don't know. Watching an old Ring of Honor just scares the crap out of me. <laughs> watching like an old Austin Aries beat up some, I, I think it was Matt Sabat. I was just like, man, that looks vicious. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm so glad I wasn't around that time. I'm glad I was like six when he was wrestling. <laughs> oh, that still happens. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that, but like. I think he was talking about, I thought about the Darren Bryan and AJ Styles match. Right, right, right. He right. busted up AJ and Lou licked. I was like, okay, this is, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I still finished the match, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I yeah. was taken back. Of, I wish you had that there, Bryan. Just Bryan Dallison, my bad. Bryan Dallison. I want it, that one. It's so <laughs> weird that it's been so long, and now that sounds weird when the other way sounded weird. Yeah. When he changed. Um, awesome. So what, you know, again, you're only, uh, was six, uh, seven, eight months into your career officially yeah. since the first match. Yes. So, uh, in that short time, what is the best and the worst thing about indie wrestling for you? I don't know. I'll be honest. Like the, I guess the worst thing is like me trying to find a ride there because I don't have a car. <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> Hey man, can I ride with you? Hey man, can I, hey, I give you gas money for this. Like, legit. so this is why you haven't been too much out of state yet. Yeah, not too much. Not too much. <laughs> not too much. I'm trying to. I'm trying, you know, make those towns and just mm-hmm. ride with friends. And but the best thing, I just like, I don't know, just wrestling, hang out with my friends. Like these people who I never thought I would meet, mm-hmm. I'm like friends with now. Like it's kind of cool. Like I never thought, like, like in ten, like when I was like nine. I never thought, like in ten years, like, oh yeah, you'd be backstage in Keysport, Pennsylvania. I know you don't know what it is yet, but mm-hmm. you'd be backstage in Keysport, Pennsylvania, in this cool clubhouse looking place. And I call it a clubhouse. I don't know. It's, it's cool. It does seem like a clubhouse. I like love that. it. It's just like oh. it, it, it is the, it, the backstage of Fight Society, or, so which is upstairs. Cool. You you forget how large the place is, <laughs> and I just like it's so, like I remember. I know. I remember the uh, the first time I went back there. The only time I went back there was when I first debuted because mm-hmm. I didn't go back there at all. I only stayed in the ring where the ring was. And I'm just looking around like I am so interested. But yeah, it's, it's this is broken. Blah blah. blah. This one, I was like, dude, I don't care. I'm ha- living a dream right now. Mm-hmm. Like, this is so cool back here. So I really appreciate that and seeing different places and meeting new people, interesting people, very interesting people. So yeah, I don't know. It's, I kind of found my best friend in wrestling. Like, I kind of found a couple good friends in wrestling so far. Good. Yeah. Good. Awesome. So, uh, what's, uh, you know, generally, where can people see you? You know, people are going to be catching this podcast, you know, who knows where, but what promotions are you popping up in? Uh, mostly Fight Society. That's my main one. Mm-hmm. Black Diamond. Uh, hopefully, again, I soon have a, a match coming up on Sunday against the Rev Ron You've Hunt. had so He's he's put out a pretty interesting Yeah, promo. okay, but, like, that's so disrespectful. I expected <laughs> more from him, like, legit. I was like, what the heck, man? <laughs> I talked to him Saturday, and he was very excited about that promo coming out. <laughs> that's so B. I expected. I thought he was a nice guy, but now he's just, like, basically for those 25 of you, cents a day can feel like I'm yeah he basically did in the arms of the angel and uh and and he's trying to feed zeke feed me man like okay give me pop tarts i'm not gonna front with, give me pop tarts but like, <laughs> like but uh i was like wow i don't not need that right now 
<laughs> uh, so where can people find you online? Uh, I got to remember all my social media. Like mostly on Facebook, mostly on Zeke Mercer. Uh, Twitter is like D underscore Zeke underscore Mercer. <laughs> like, I, I think it's just Zeke underscore Mercer. I think actually. so. Uh, I think no, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because I've been tweeting you for the show a lot. Uh, yeah, Twitter is weird, man. Twitter is such a weird machine. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't use Twitter. I ain't got Twitter for wrestling, and Instagram's like D underscore Zeke Mercer. Like, yeah, it's weird. Like, it's all linked to my Facebook. So if I just share it, it's like there. <laughs> there you go. And, and any video games people should challenge you in? Ooh, uh, <laughs> not injustice. No, 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 <laughs> not injustice. But Need for Speed. Actually, Need for Speed's your game. Need for Speed's actually my like, really good game of mine. That's my childhood game. It's a whole. It should be the new questions. What video games do you guys play? Because we're kind of I don't crossing play for- those over I don't, here. And there. I don't play Fortnite. That's that's no stupid. Fortnite. No, that's very stupid. I hate Fortnite. <laughs> I, Ooh, I, you're I gonna get some hate on that. I'm gonna I get some messages on that Fortnite. one. Fortnite. I don't care if anyone Whoa. has anything to say about that. You can change that right now, but Fortnite is so stupid. <laughs> I, the fact that it's a beta, like it's legit, like a beta alpha thing, and they make money off this is so stupid. <laughs> but Gears of War didn't go well. Like, I don't know. It's just crazy. And well, so you just need a good Gears of War persistent environment, and I'm sure it'll be just fine. Give, give me back Gears of War, the original one, and just make that better. I don't know. There you go. The remaster was not good, though. It wasn't that bloody. Is that, is that messed up to say? Like, the original was so cool. And then the remix was like, this looks PG'd. <laughs> like, it's still immature, but it was like, nah, it's, oh. it looks worse. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll have to get into some of these comments after the show, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know. Actually, no, let's read some of these comments now. <laughs> <Ain't>. <laughs> Your childhood, like three years ago, says Ron. You, you right. <laughs> I mean, you right. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. Not wrong. Not wrong. Thank you, Zeke Mercer, joining us. He's another uh, up-and-comer here. You guys got to keep an eye on. Uh, like I said, he's in. Uh, you can check out some of his stuff over at IndieWrestling.us and the Indie Wrestling Network. And uh, you're in a few clips on our YouTube and Facebook yeah. as well. Yeah, I'm in a couple of BLD episodes, right? That's yeah. right. A couple. A couple of them. Just starting. Trying to get in there. <laughs> Make the cut. <laughs> Make, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. And again, please support um, all this stuff and all the promotions we're talking about here. And until next time, please support the rest. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.